Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, March 21st. Uh, I want to read something off the internet to y'all. Uh, I don't know if all of you care necessarily about Mass Effect 3, but I definitely do. Um, as you've probably heard by now, there is a considerable amount of hullabaloo over some dissatisfaction with the ending. I'm putting it mildly. But um, today, there was a, uh, a letter for, to all Mass Effect 3 players from Dr. Ray of BioWare, and I want to read that. Um, he says that, uh, as co-founder and GM of BioWare, I'm very proud of the ME3 team. I personally believe Mass Effect 3 is the best work we've yet created. So it's incredibly painful to receive feedback from our core fans that the game's endings were not up to their expectations. Our first instinct is to defend our work and point to the high ratings offered by critics. But out of respect to our fans, we need to accept the criticism and feedback with humility. I believe passionately that games are an art form and that the power of our medium flows from our audience, who are deeply involved in how the story unfolds and who have con uncontested, the uncontested right to provide constructive criticism. At the same time, I also believe in and support the artistic choices made by the development team. The team and I have been thinking hard about how to best address the comments on ME3's endings from players, while still maintaining the artistic integrity of the game. Mass Effect 3 concludes a trilogy with so much player control and ownership of the story that it was hard for us to predict the range of emotions players would feel when they finished playing through it. The journey you undertake in Mass Effect provokes an intense range of highly personal emotions from the player. Even so, the passionate rea uh, reaction of some of our most loyal players to the current endings in Mass Effect 3 is something that has genuinely surprised us. This is an issue we care about deeply, and we will respond to it in a fair and timely way. We're already working hard to do that. To that end, since the game launched, the team has been poring over everything they can find about reactions to the game. Industry press, forums, Facebook, and Twitter, just to name a few. The Mass Effect team, like other teams across the Bioware label within EA, consists of passionate people who work hard for the love of creating experiences that excite and delight our fans. I'm honored to work with them because they have the courage and strength to respond to constructive feedback. Building on their research, executive producer Casey Hudson and the team are hard at work on a number of game content initiatives that will help answer the questions, providing more clarity for those seeking further closure to their journey. You'll hear more on this in April. We're working hard to maintain the right balance between the artistic integrity of the original story while addressing the fan feedback we've received. This is in addition to our existing plan to continue providing new Mass Effect content and new full games, so rest assured that your journey in the Mass Effect universe can and will continue. The reaction to the release of Mass Effect 3 has been unprecedented. On one hand, some of our loyal fans are passionately expressing their displeasure about how their game concluded. We care about this feedback, and we're planning to directly address it. However, most folks appear to agree that the game as a whole is exceptional, with more than 75 critics giving it a perfect review uh, review score and a review average in the mid-90s. Net, I'm proud of the team, but we can and must always strive to do better. Some of the criticism that has been delivered in the heat of passion by our most ardent fans, even if founded on valid principles, such as seeking more clarity to questions or looking for more closure, for example, has unfortunately become destructive rather than constructive. We listen and will respond to constructive criticism, but much as we will not tolerate individual attacks on our team members, we will not support or respond to destructive commentary. If you are a Mass Effect fan and have input for the team, we respect your opinion and want to hear it. We're committed to address your constructive feedback as best we can. In return, I'd ask that you help us do that by supporting what I truly believe is the best game Bioware has yet crafted. I urge you to do your own research, play the game, finish it, and tell us what you think. Tell your friends if you feel it's a good game as a whole. Trust that we are doing our damnedest, as always, to address your feedback. As artists, we care about our fans deeply, and we appreciate your support. Thank you for your feedback. We are listening. Ray. Good man. Um, this has inspired me to uh, work on my own opinion piece regarding the endings of Mass Effect 3. I'm currently in the middle of a playthrough. Uh, second playthrough through the game, um, being rather completionist, and I'm dawdling a bit because I've been playing Star Trek Online. But I, in the spirit that uh, Dr. Ray has encouraged here, I am going to um, offer up my own opinion on the endings of the game, how I feel uh, about them, and if I can, possibly offer some potential solutions. Though... I by no means know the whole picture 
of what's going on behind the scenes there. So uh, I am a huge fan of the indoctrination theory and feel that it sets up for very nice DLC to finish things up, wrap it up in a nice little package there. Uh, in the real world, things don't end cleanly. There is never real closure. And in fact, in my victimology class, closure is the one thing everyone looks for and never finds. So, um, yeah. I am a huge fan of Mass Effect. I wholeheartedly support Bioware in handling this the way they see fit, the way they feel best applies. So I am going to do what I can to encourage them and help them uh, achieve the best outcome as far as they can see. So, or as far as they can make, I don't know. Eh. Anyways, I want to help. So, uh, that's what I'm going to plan on doing for Monday's blog post. So I'm going to take the next few days and work on ideas for it. Uh, this is probably going to be, I don't want to set up too high expectations for my blog post, uh, but I think I'll probably be putting a lot more work into it than I normally put into any others. So, uh, until next time.